Texture is a great way to add a traditional look to your brush strokes. The Texture option is located in the brush panel. These options allow you to select from among many different pattern options. You can also adjust the character of each pattern that is selected. It's a great addition to any mixer brush for adding that analog look. Let's go take a look. I'm opening up the brush panel and we'll notice that in the sub panel area here we have the option of texture. So I'm going to select that and the first thing we'll notice at the top is there is a texture install but it's not very traditional looking. This is part of the pattern library that shows up in Photoshop and we're going to go ahead and change that. If we open up this flyout menu you'll see that there are a number of installed textures or pattern libraries that we can choose from and I'm going to select the artist surfaces. This is another default library that comes with Photoshop and it's got a bunch of really good looking canvas textures built into it. You have the option here. You can either append a library or replace it. If you append a library, it will take whatever the contents of this new library and say there's 20 new textures in there and it will add it to this library, which may have something like 20 textures in it. So if you say append, you're going to end up with 40 textures. It gets a little bit hard to navigate, especially when they're two different types of libraries. So I recommend replacing your library under normal circumstances. You can always retrieve the earlier library as it's part of the list. So patterns, which was in there, I could easily swap out the current artist surfaces for patterns. But it's just a way you can combine libraries, but I find it much easier to keep them isolated to the type of library you're working with. Straight out of the box, these textures tend to look a little static to my eye. In the next few movies, I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments so that you can get strokes that really look great on screen.